Welcome to Yes Offense. Trigger warning, disclaimer, whatever you want to call it, this podcast will feature graphic language about sex, race, violence, and anything else that might make people uncomfortable. However, this is a comedy podcast, and everything and anything talked about on it should be viewed as an attempt at humor. Like, if you hear anything on this podcast you don't agree with or like, please just turn it off. No one on here is a politician or actually affecting the way you live. So if you genuinely have a problem with anything said on here, redirect your energy at a real issue going on in the real world. Now let's get into the show. Yeah, these hoes, man. Yeah, dude, they are. Dude. These hoes, man. Wait, what's the... Damn! Slut! Hell yeah. I dude. love that. Yeah, that's slut. how we're starting this one. Welcome to Yes Offense, everybody. Um, your host, Alex Tomaselli. And I, I should have just... We should have riffed for another minute before I did that. But I don't care. Keep don't talking, care. bro. I'm here with, your show. with my... Uh, probably one of the top... My top favorite guests, Cliff Mula, is here again. And another returning guest, Manny Sierra, is back. Hell yeah to, uh, you know, talk of nonsense for a little under an hour, hopefully. And we just talk about sluts. Man, we in a car in the dark, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, we are in a car in the dark in West Hartford. Some Jamaicans arguing. Of, yeah, dude, I wish they still were loud. Yeah, I wish we could have got them. But I do You're feel safe. You're doing too much, big. I feel like <laughs> I'm doing fine, big. You're killing me again. I'm doing your blood clots. Boy, what they're else y'all want? They're actually going to come near us. What are you doing? We're quoting Shadas, and they're like, that's one of the greatest movies ever. <laughs> <laughs> I've only met one white guy with a great Jamaican accent. <laughs> Dude, I, I, well, I can do it, but if I do it, I get loud, and I don't. I really don't want them to come over here and get upset. Because... <laughs> Remember Cliff? We used to go to uh, Kabbalah, Kabbalah House. I was talking about it earlier today. <laughs> we used to go to Kabbalah House in Hartford. It was this open mic, and it was all Jamaicans, uh-huh. and it was fun. But a lot of people, we'd bomb after a while, and then a lot of people would bomb because we'd do the same shit, and they're like, you're doing the same shit. So me and Cliff would come up with ways to like, what could you do to bomb so bad that they would try to kill us? <laughs> 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 and one thing. The best thing would be to go up, because all Jamaicans is go up, and when you bomb, be like, you know what? Bob Marley fucked Marcus Garvey and his gay ass. <laughs> <laughs> <Just run. laughs> you know, I, I, yeah. <laughs> as that, I, I missed that. That was funny. Oh, man, That's dude. amazing. Yeah, don't do that ever. If you, <laughs> It was a hypothetical. We would never do that. But I remember Peter Angelo. <laughs> he gets, Peter Angelo, he gets up in front of room for the old-ass Jamaicans. They're like 40-plus. Like some fucking a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yeah. yo, see them Jamaican oh, niggas these all guys, have the same these face. These guys were great. Oh, they were at the show. Yeah, they don't know us. They don't know we The audio listeners can't listen to. Dude, that's the thing. I've never, Pete. I've never seen someone like an audience get mad at Pete, which is so funny. Shout out to Pete Angelo. Go check out. And Pete he's and big Sally as shit. So like, I mean, they're, they're not, not going to try and fight him. He's yeah, like, who's going to say something? To he's like three twenty six two. Check out Pete and Sally do the cinema. It's out there. Oh yeah, check that shit out. And then, yeah, wars. yeah, they were basically like, yeah, they the whole audience was like, and I got news for you, that means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they were not. That's great. It. That is great. That's, that's a new one. one. That's I've had that before, but I never. I, wow. I switched that. I switched it out. Yeah. You had that. You never showed me uh, that. I waited for that you to come back. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. You got uh, me yeah. back. You got me back, sweetheart. Uh, I love you again. Wait, Cliff, how many times have you been on? Five. Have five. You gone five times. Five times. Five, five times. Five times. How many different First episode, sounds have you gone Me, you, Mike Macero. Oh, yeah. Leash. Me, you, James T. Moore. Mm, yep. You have that. Me, five you, times. Mo yeah. Green. This will be number five. Me, you, Mike Macero mm-hmm. again at one in the morning saying some weirdo shit. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was, that was hilarious. Episode. I would say some dumb shit like, yeah. if you're like a, uh, if you're like a. a no, don't, you don't have to say it again. Oh, all right, all right. <laughs> you guys go check that one out. That one is my wild. My is over here. He's stopping me from being, getting no, no I money. No, yeah, I don't, I don't want to have to debate whether to cut that out again or not. <laughs> I just decided to leave it in. This is pretty funny. Uh, I was high <laughs> at one in the morning. <laughs> Yo, that was, the, that was a fun time. That was a fun time. Shout that out to me. Shout out to me. The so he's like your Maine. co-host now. Oh, Basically. there is. Yeah, he's like your co-host. He's, he's like uh, a 
Well, there's no I'm like Artie Lang a, on Ohio yeah, Western. Yeah, he's the he's the um, jo- go to. I'm a like, Joey yeah. Diaz to your Joe yeah, Rogan. Yeah, yeah. Like if, I'm, <laughs> if I'm just hanging around, I'm like, I need somebody. I'll grab. Him. It's always good. There's, there's always somewhere to go with Cliff. Hey, no, that's speak fun. my mind. I don't care. Yeah, man, that's good. Fucking, I don't know what to. I don't know what to ask you guys. What's your? You got a Naruto shirt on? Yeah. Are you excited for the new um, Cowboy Bebop? Shit I'm really out. excited, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm I hope they don't fuck it up. <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be the Cliff's like, the fuck you guys talk about? I, I, an I think John Cliff. Cho's great. Uh, I like John Cho, too. I just, be good. I just hope Netflix is fucking yeah, it up. Yeah, me too. And me too. I'm hoping they keep it fucking dope. And, uh, fuck. I sold Anything weed as a teenager. Out. That's why I'm really you knowing this <laughs> shit. <laughs> I was getting hair from, like, fat girls and trying mm. to sell a little crack or whatever. But um, Yeah, fat girls... Shout out to the fat girls out there. Hey, yeah, it's not wrong with them. <laughs> you guys are cool. It's not wrong with them. I'm a fan. I, I've, I've grown to become a fan. Ain't nothing no like a fat girl having you in a little spool. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. <laughs> I, I actually feel unsafe in that situation. I For feel real? like. Yeah, I feel like it could go the other way. Like I get eaten. I feel warm. <laughs> she can <she> eat me. <laughs> <laughs> what you want to do? <laughs> Or like you got me a little she, spoon or lick my ear. Uh. She has like you know how like son is so gay. <laughs> Take that out. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm gay. You know how like this coming out. Yeah. You know how like when people have crazy dreams and they react. I wouldn't want to be like the little spoon on a fat girl and she like reacts in a dream and just squeezes you to death. <laughs> <laughs> it's like something in American Pie or yeah. something. You're like no. <laughs> and then they're all like, "Did you do it?" And you're like, "Yeah." But my hips broken or some bullshit. It'd be like one of those. I had a wet dream like last week, <laughs> like last two, two weeks ago. Uh, uh, do, it was during during the day. Do so I came expand. home from work. I know I came home from work and like I was just very horny. I don't know. Well, like I ended up going to sleep and I just woke up. My shit was all like wet and like goopy. I'm like I haven't had a okay. wet dream since like 15. Oh, you're yeah. like, wait. Oh. Your sh- okay. It was during the day. It your was like a pants, daydream. All right. Your pants were wet. I thought my you said my were... shit was wet and goopy like your poop. I was like, oh, no, right. no, no. <laughs> You're getting all That's a all weird ass wet dream. Black people use shit in different <laughs> Doo-doo, yeah. My shit, you know, we use it, I don't know, in different ways. You know, all right. Shit. So, what was the wet dream? <laughs> I don't know. I just kept having like random like sex, like sex with this girl, sex with that girl. And it was like. You know, just like a revolving door, of bitches. Oh, in yeah, the dream. yo, just I was just horny as shit. I was like, "What the fuck?" I don't okay, know. dude, <laughs> this uh, sounds yeah. like the worst dream. No, nah, I mean, could be worse. My um, Tommy Hilfiger box is a little wet. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I gotta, yeah, like, really, dude. You know, I was like, "Damn." Yeah, it's it's you're a little old for that to be happening, but I'm glad it still happens. <laughs> I to used you. to wear this um purple hoodie, right? This um purplest gram- cranberry hoodie. And every time I get my dick sucked in that hoodie. I always get nut on it. Always get nut. I always get nut. And like, I would have a competition with myself. Like, I'm not going to get nut on this hoodie. I'm not going to get nut on this hoodie. I look down after getting in the head. I'm like, fuck, I got nut again. Because yes. I'm like competitive, you know, competitive. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? Today's black. <laughs> you know, that one. Competitive, I like no? That one. All right. No, I, I did like oh. No, I liked it. I just hated that I liked it. You know what I mean? Oh. Fucking shit. Did you ever think to like take it off? Yeah, I took it off, but like, <laughs> I like to win. Did you still when you took it off? No. Because you I thought you going to throw it away somewhere. What you know, were you, you saying right like, before the come on the hoodie thing? What dreams? Yeah, so, <laughs> fuck. Oh, man, I, I'm all, I'm too far off for this shirt. Shit! It had to do with the wet dream, and god damn it. Have you ever come in your pants when, like, doing anything with a girl? Pre-cum. No. I like Are you talking, like, full on? Yeah, like I like, like dry humping and kissing. That shit, that shit is like foreplay for me. Like just like Gene yeah. on Gene accent. I don't think no. I've ever full on just. Nah, definitely not just okay, full cool. on. Okay, cool. Me neither. <laughs> you did. You fair. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Was it at it. summer camp? No, it, dude. It's what was actually... the boy's name? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, dude, got me on that one. That's a. That's I got a... news for you. That means you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> It's so good. Oh yeah. No, it had. I I had something to do with like falling asleep and cu- fuck. So you had a wet dream too? Oh, not yeah, but not recently. But it, I'm just saying. Oh, it had to do with dreams. Like, have you ever like fucked in a dream, but it sucks because you know, like in real life, you're not doing anything. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you you think you're gonna fuck the shit out of a girl, then 
it, you are, but you can't feel anything because in real life you're just laying there. Mm. You know what I mean? <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> like when you punch someone in a dream, you're like, why can't I feel this? It's, it's lucid, only, lucid dreaming. It's literally because your arm isn't moving in real life. So yeah. it, it's, oh, I hate when that happens. <laughs> Dude, it's worse when it's sex. You're really yeah. not. Dude. Have you, it, anyway. uh, yeah, I've come in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'll... I'm not gonna say when because it's it's it'll like giving the location and everything away. If anyone I know would listen to this, would be like, when was that? Like they they they'd be able to pinpoint it. But I was dancing with this chick once, and it had been a while since I'd done anything with a girl at all, mm-hmm. and it just got out of hand. And I was like, no! <laughs> and it just I just like walked away and like went to the bathroom and was like. I can't believe this just happened, but um, it is what it is, and I need to get my life together. I, just I didn't know that was day. really possible. It happened, dude. But, you know, it happened a long time ago. <laughs> I wish I could feel pre-cum. It was real cum, dude. <laughs> I know, but pre-cum is like what? It was embarrassing. But um, she I don't think she knew, so um, I hope she didn't at least. Uh, the girl has a story if she does. Whatever, we all got a story. It's like an embarrassing story for you, but she's like, hell yeah. I yeah, yeah. Know. It wasn't, and it wasn't like I, d- I made it weird. I was just like, I gotta go. I like walked away from the dance and was like, uh, <laughs> and then like on the way, I was like, ah, this is embarrassing. Oh, well, at least nobody knows. You know what I mean? Not enough, but you don't know when and you'll never find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wendy. You whore. <laughs> oh, I know the girls. I did not know that who that girl was, but uh, it happens. You Come. whore, you Jezebel, not getting names. Jesus. Oh, was it the the article thing that got Aziz? Is that what you're referencing? No, I just like I just heard the word Jezebel maybe a few days ago. I just like it. Oh, that's and that word. okay, that so you Jezebel. just made up that reference right there. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I guess uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, I made it up, yo. So y'all bitches can't get me. I don't know. That's how stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I got nothing else. What? Uh, Omar died. What else? The yeah, fuck o- did? Omar died. Yeah. My, uh, R.I.P. Yeah. to Mark Michael R. R. Kath, Omar I'll died. just cut that last thing out. I was gonna put out a clip. <laughs> You know, on my, you know, I put shit on my stories and shit. Mm. And uh, I was going to put a clip of him. And when he was in jail, he stabbed the nigga in the ass and licked his ear. So I knew that would bother people. Like, yo, why would you put this gay shit on? <laughs> I think I'm going to do it because y'all laughing. I, no, I need do it, dude. my confidence put on. All right, Pete. Hell yeah, dude. You got that. Oh, put that up. Yeah, with that scene, he's like, it's a shame. We, it's a shame I ain't in jail so long because we've been here making babies. And he, like, stabbed him in his ass and licked his ear. I'm like, yo, <laughs> that is gangster and gay at the same time. Yeah, like, I mean, that, he was the definition of that in The Wire. A so. gay gangster. I always like to think of Omar in The Wire, but everyone's gay but Omar for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I do the complete opposite. That's what they say when you walk in the door, and you better Kima. watch your back. Cause yeah, yeah, Omar go tap, tap that ass. That's what he's going to do. And Kima's not gay, too. She'd have to be straight. Is it Kima? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's it's, It really sucks. He, he died from heroin, too. It's not... Oh. Yeah. Do you zoom, think he was doing it with gay dads? Oh, of course. Okay. Yeah. He was 100% gay. He was gay. I like him as Chalky, too. Eh. He wasn't gay in that. People are less known. He's less known. Good for him. That's wild. Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to think of something with Kennard, but I can't do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Kennard shot him in the head. Kennard shot him in his That was that pandemic. <laughs> Caught <laughs> in the pandemic. That is the most stupidest death, though. Like, I, I like the irony of it. I get it. Oh, yeah, dude. You know, but it's like, well, a little boy really walks up and shoots you in the head. I mean, that shows Omar is human, you know, because yeah. they made him if like anyone knew, can, if, if anyone would have done it, I guess it would be Kennard. But, um, yeah. He's the I, most I know innocent one. one you wanted to see Omar. Omar and Chalky White. If you guys haven't seen The Wire or... Uh, Boardwalk Empire. Empire, sorry, spoilers ahead. He has the worst deaths in both of those shows, kind of. Like, the worst way they did. I mean, uh, The Wires is definitely way better than Chalky's, but the way Chalky dies in that is so lame. I don't give a fuck. A part of me kind of like it. I don't know no, why. I, do. I hate it. I like it, but I don't I don't like the how it happened, but I like the way it happened. After the way Omar went out in The Wire, they should have definitely let Chalky White go out. Like, if he was going to die, they should have had him going out like fucking Scarface. Like... Like, he should have gone out like fucking Bodie in The Wire. Like, you're not going to fucking kill me. And just went like. I never, nah, I I never finished The had, Wire. I had a talk. He should have went out. He should have had his grandkid. His daughter should have never died. He had his grandkid. Uh, and it, I guess maybe shot with his grandkid is on. You know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, the whole point of talk, he was trying to, like, 
make his family legit. He's yeah, trying to like make you know make the bloodline better. The way his character was, I didn't want him to go out the way he did it all when he was just like, oh, I'm gonna just walk into the. She just like let it happen. I want yeah, him to fuck that was, it. That was, I mean, he went out like a G. He did that to mm. save daughter. He had his old new daughter and shit like that. Try to give, try to give his, his side chick a better life, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's an admiral thing. You look out, you gotta look out for your hoes, man. You know. Yeah, you do, man. Because yeah, they they can swing through and in um, and they can come back. And they can swing in and out of your life. That, that is so true. <laughs> some of these hoes are so seasonal, man. <laughs> There's a thing I saw. You know that like meme of the chick. Uh, texting and you texting her back and she was like hey stranger how you doing and he was like you che- he cheated on you again didn't he yeah i like that, <laughs> I like that shit. hell yeah dude i like the like the comic book ones is like you know they show the little scenes like what do you do i'm a bum and then you show the next oh yeah you know, let's have a baby <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that is so true damn that is so true what yes dude that is so true there. that's something I, i've learned like recently like Women don't have accountability. They really don't. <laughs> like, no, no, I know this sounds fucked up, but, like, they can fuck with a bum-ass nigga. No, he's a bum-ass nigga. Get, a pre- get pregnant by this nigga and blame the nigga. Like, no. <laughs> blame your self-esteem. Because I got low self-esteem, too. Dude, I was out here fucking chicken head hoes. <laughs> so, like, if I got one of them pregnant, I'd be mad at myself. But I'd be like, fuck it. I'd probably fuck her again. But, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but I got low Hell self-esteem, yeah, so that's why I'm well aware of my bullshit. And I'm, I'm getting You're better at that. about it. Yeah, like, yo, yeah. man, I ain't so, shit. The, you ever seen? Uh, I think it's something's got to give with uh, uh, Jack Nicholson. He's autistic. Or mm-hmm. whatever. You, you ever seen it? No. It's really funny, and there's a scene. He's an author in it. You're really funny, bro. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Plugging my dates a little bit. Everyone, come check me out live. Bro, uh, we need to go on a date now. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Michael Kenneth Williams. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, no, fucking. What was I just talking about? Fuck. Women. No, okay. Oh, so something's got to give. There's is it something, whatever. It's the fucking Jack Nicholson movie. He's an autistic writer, and there's a girl who sees him, and it's like, I'm such a big fan. How do you write room women so well? And he's like, I think of a man, and I take away reason and accountability. <laughs> and he just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> and he just leaves her there. That is so That's true. What you get, you I, I'm, bitch. I'm not like a uh, like a, a shaming type of person. Like, what were you wearing? You know, I, I would never say no shit oh, like that. No, of never do not. that shit. But like, you know, nigga, bum. Because I, I, it was this girl. Okay. That I know, she used to talk about how like a baby father is like a bomb. He's like, oh, she lived with his, bo- she lived with um, yeah, he lived with his girlfriend. He just driving around his his girlfriend's mom car. He's happy. I was like, yo, like, but you lay down with him. You know what I mean? Your dad probably told you don't do it. He's like, no, I love him. And then like you just like, <laughs> <laughs> stupid broad shit. That broads do I love him? That's like their excuse. If I ever, what I've learned, if I ever had a daughter and she was like, I want to do this, and it was bad, I'd be like, sure. And then they'll figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. kind of fun. like it's fucked up, but it's like yo, the, the only way. Yeah. If you literally are like, don't do that. I forbid it. They're, they're gonna, gonna fucking they're go gonna fucking into do it. it. That's why they some of them. That's why white girls be fucking black guys. You know, like <laughs> these players. Yeah, hell, yeah, dude. <laughs> hell yeah, you. Fu- yeah, no, no, you know what? Damn, slut. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's like no accountability. You know. I mean, yeah, due to the same way, though, we we were literally, like, if a girl's like, you don't need to use a condom, you're not like, well, I want to see a, a <laughs> test. You're like, whoop. That shit is Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Every time I got it, and then you know what? That's a muscle. I'm pretty sure any time a girl's been like, you don't have to use a condom, it's almost like, well, if she's so confident in it, I'm just going to... She she must be an angel. <laughs> in the arms of an angel. <laughs> She's so cool. Why would she ruin my day? In my life, boss. She's so cool. Huh? She's really She's so cool. cool. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't got AIDS or kids, man. Because, god yeah. damn. Last year, I was raw dogging. Oh, oh, no yeah, kind of 2020. Remember? We came up with that. <laughs> we did, dude. We did. I didn't catch nothing. Good, dude. And you dude, were nothing. And I was nine. I was, I was, oh man, we're on the uh, the zingers today. It's like on that Nori song. What you gonna do? Nothing. What you gonna remember that? Mm. Ooh, that, 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 that. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Ooh, I like that, that part. Was butchered. I liked it though. Your girl was looking at me. She's. Uh, 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 I don't remember uh, it that well. What she I trying know. to do? I don't know. That's how I'm mumbling. Uh, trying to do, <laughs> nigga, not, what you trying to do? Oh, where you see my dick? Hey, bitch. Hey, guy. I'm gay. 
Cool. <laughs> 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 just turns gay. Can you talk, Manny? Like, what's Yo, going on? Right? Quiet. You're not trying to get in trouble with your girl? Yeah, well, not. So here's on? the thing. All right. He asked you on a date. Oh. And I figured I'd let you guys oh, see where the spark rocking. goes. No, just Cliff and the spark and I goes. Yeah. Bro, we open, man. We open up. Yeah, <laughs> Cliff and I just go on dates. We're just hanging out. You're like, you want to, like, go do gay stuff? Yeah, you know. <laughs> and then we never talk about it. I don't even so know. How long have you guys actually known each other? Uh, Cliff, what? Four years, years, three years, four? 2017. Yeah, or eight. Oh, so four years, yeah. Did you guys meet through comedy? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cliff, oh, so funny story. Cliff and I, we're, we got in, uh, we, we, met at a mic but we really hung out when we went to um we went to bishops for a day and then we went to what was that fucking mic that was on sunday's cliff in windsor blackboard, blackboord cafe blackboard cafe yeah, the windsor, first time you met connecticut and we were hanging out and i was like you trying to smoke cliff and he was like yeah so we went outside <laughs> and we were smoking a joint on the patio and a bartender and the bar owner came out and was like are you guys smoking weed on my patio <laughs> And I just, he looked at us, and I looked at Cliff, and I looked at him, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, well, just do it over there, man. We can't have people, we can't have, like, cops coming by or anything. And we're like, all right, my bad. And, and we that's just walked when away. Cliff realized and then, I needed yeah, Cliff, a white friend. And then we listened to Max B, and Cliff and I were cool. Nah. It was oh, Max yeah. B. I had, oh, I was trying to get a ad lib of Max B's, and I, I forgot. That would have been fun to put right now. It's from, <laughs> it's from Credibility and Jim Jones. Remember that song? You love that song. If I got it, I got to hear it. Yeah, you don't love it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember playing a few and like, I hate this song. Anyway. <laughs> Free Max B, everybody. Uh, look up Max B. Yeah. What about you, Cliff? You miss Max B still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you when, know who Max B is? I've heard the name. I should be getting out. When you get out, I'm going to have my ACG boots. I'm going to have a little <laughs> Skull Gang on um, V-Necks. All that shit. I'm not. I might get some ACG booze with some champion sweaters. Saying the wave again. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get me some Grand Crew. I'm going to respect women. I mean. <laughs> nah, I mean, disrespect I, women. I was about to say, dude, you, you, got, you, you went deep. I know. You took a left turn with the max Who am I to respect women? As a professional massagenist. Um, yeah, man. I'm just bullshitting. I, 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 I mean, you, no, I, you know what, dude? See, the thing is, I respect people who respect themselves, and you happen to be a woman that sucks. I don't respect you, so that's how it is. But most women suck, though, even if they do respect themselves. <laughs> Damn! Slut! Hey, like, I don't know. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, you know what, dude? Like, females I'm, like, been, like, close with and got, like, a bond with, and I can speak my honest truth, I'll be like, yo, y'all don't like each other. So what, what makes you think, as a man, we don't like you either? You know what I mean? Y'all don't get along. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just, you know, I have a, a bit about it, man. Women, women hate each other. Pussy's a great bargaining tool. So I put up with it, but it's like... Like, I, I've been thinking about, I mean, I've been listening a lot of Patrice O'Neill, too. Shout out to him, but. Well, then this all makes sense. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, like, he be saying shit I be thinking. He be saying shit I be thinking, like, you know. Of course. He's the but I, I, th- I thought of something, too. Like, you, you go on a date with a girl, you're like, I hope she likes me. I hope she likes so you can fuck, right? Of course. But she never thinks, I hope she like. I hope he likes me. She's like, I hope I like him. Why don't they never, like, I hope he likes me, too? You know what I mean? Because some they of them know. do like that. Are like I think, that. I think, I think most of them are just waiting for the show, though. though. They're just waiting for the show. He better do something, you know I'm going to get this pussy. You know what I mean? It's mm. like, and I, you know, I do my whole shtick or I whatever guess. on a date, but it's like, what the fuck? I don't even have a shtick. I've learned that, like, to, I, I don't I know. Be myself. There's just certain types of women. If I meet a chick who's very superficial, I'll just end the date early. Really. I don't need that shit. Oh, for real? I, I try I'm to wait even. around. It, it depends, though, because, like, if you got a fat ass, I mean, dude, I'm I'm pretty shallow. If they're really hot, I, I'll I'll buy a drink or two. But if it's if it's going nowhere, if they're like, again, if a girl is ever like, I don't like movies, I might as well just pack it up. Then like, I don't I think really I've ever met a person who doesn't like. Movies. That'd be fucked. Yeah, I've 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 had girls say like I don't watch a lot of movies, which is one thing. But a girl who's like I hate I can't watch movies, I'm like, what are we doing? What if she doesn't watch movies? But can quote Sopranos. She likes like, TV no shows. Problem. I can live with that. But if it's like I hate movies, there's no. What are we doing? I have so many. I reference too much shit of like that in my real life. I have a fucking movie podcast with Pete Angelo called Pete and Sully do the summer. Go check it out. It's on Spotify. Check that shit out. It's flo- it flo- the episodes flow pretty well too. Not that this one isn't. I'm just I'm pretty high. This is a last minute thing, you guys. Too. I kind of snagged. I think, I think it's a mixture. It's, it's a mixture of uh, being super stoned. A room full of bombs. Yeah, guys, we all bombed. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I did all right. Not like my good. shit, man. Them three broads. Was not, I Once called you them started, broads, you called them broads. They liked it. They did. Damn, sluts. Yeah, dude. Uh, yeah, they, you had them there. You were like broads. They're like, ooh, they perked up a little bit. 
They did. Okay, yeah. I was too much in my own head. Like, I'm yeah, fine. I actually likes whispered me. to ugly, you. you know? Ask Manny. I whispered. Yeah, he was like, keep going. Go, make fun keep of them. Keep going. Boy. They're whores. <laughs> <laughs> Ask them which one of them is a bigger slut so we can figure it out. All the other comics. We figure out which ones are single. Ask them if they're single. I wish I could have talked to them. At least got the <laughs> You guys <laughs> Instagrams. In the past week, yo, I got like 22 followers, yo, by like talking Just to people. Bothering people. No, not even bothering them. At like, shows or what? Because I work at um in uh, Avon with with the um donation shit. What's that shit called? A Goodwill. Oh, and so nice like you shit. know, it'd be, it be a lot of old crackers and shit every day. But like the young ones that look like they like South Park and shit, like twenty eight <laughs> to forty. I talk to them and like you know, I, I'm like, start blowing by myself. Like, oh, I am likable. I'm a likable guy. Just tell them you stand up and yeah, follow your Instagram. Man, I do. But you know, I have, I, I kind of like make it natural. Like they might say something, I riff off that. They like it. They smile at. I'm like, oh, this Negro made me smile. They're like, ah, he's black. You know, they they they, yeah. all, they all ain't bad. <laughs> I hate when they would tell me, like, you're one of the good ones. Like, get the fuck out of here. What am I, That's like, insane. an apple? Oh, That's wild. What the fuck am I, one of the good ones? <laughs> that is a wild. I start saying thing. that to women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're one, you one of the good ones. And, like, tap them on the chin. <laughs> like, nah. they're sexist. <laughs> cool chicks get that, dude. I, uh, if you meet and a chick. That's what I was talking about. If I, got, if I really, really like them, it's hard to be honest in front of women. It's nah, really if you, hard. If you meet a yeah. chick and she's down with, like, fucked up humor, then... It, I always say that too. I'm like, oh, you're cool. Like, I can actually be myself when we're around them. And they're like, why? Like, why? you weren't before. I'm like, yo, I'm not going to say, like, fucked up shit on our first date. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm, dude, I'm so, Jeez, man. I'm so, like, casual on my first day. Like, I'll, I'll talk about shit I like, but I won't be like, have you ever seen Old Boy? <laughs> Unless they're into Korean cinema. But if it's like, I'm not going to bring up a movie about, you know, people who get tricked into fucking their daughters on the first date. Right? Yeah. Like, I remember I was on a date, and this girl, she was like, oh, you know, the whole comedy. She's like, oh, you think women are funny? So I'm like, all right, Cliff, you got to lie to get this girl. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, lie, lie, lie. So I'm I like, mean, yeah, they I are funny, funny, but yeah. I, I, I worded it. Like, yeah, you know, some are charismatic. You know, that's what I always say, but um, <laughs> <laughs> there are like, funny some, women. There's, 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 there's some, you know, there's some out there, but then, like, Two minutes into the conversation, he's like, I don't think women are funny. I'm, like, I'm still going to get the pussy. Yes, yes, I like her. I actually, <laughs> oh, like, dude, her. I actually uh, like this woman. Oh, my God. I dude, see. I've been on dates with girls who are like, okay, so, like, who did you vote for? And I'm instantly just like, uh, oh, oh, uh, Hillary Clinton and Joe Biden. And they're like, oh, <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And I'm literally like, I didn't vote. Like, in my head, like, I didn't vote. I, I didn't vote it. at all. I, I didn't vote, but I knew who you liked. I could just figure it, figured it out when you posted a meme about, like, Oh, we need this to change. I'm like, okay, I know exactly who I'm going for right now. I hate how they post about abortion like that's going to change, dude. I know, this you like right. vote or some shit out in Texas or whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't really yeah, follow yeah. politics. Dude, this like, is my thing. I'm, I'm pro uh, choice or whatever it is. Oh, like, I, too, I, yeah, admit, if you want to get an abortion, I'm all, all, all there. Bits down but the steps. Yo, <laughs> I'm so, <laughs> I'm so hey, sick of like just things that happen in the news that people have to post like. You, uh, like I can't believe this is still happening. It's like, dude, it's fucking Texas. They're fucking. They killed the Indians into the like, in nineteen hundreds. What do you expect? Yeah. Like they're fucked up. They're, of course, go fight them. But it's like you people we know. You just post memes about it. All right. So like, fuck out of here. You're not. And they don't even live anything. in that fucking state. Yeah. So I was like, yo, we out here in Connecticut. You get abortion. You know. <laughs> yeah. And I'm no, no. I'm not saying they shouldn't. Like, if you're gonna fight and donate, do that. But like, to be like, oh. All the time, it's like, dude, we fucking like posting a meme doesn't do shit. Like people oh, just Facebook go like, oh, activism man. is the worst. It's, it's, it's if it's all a- you're doing is posting memes about shit, you're not doing anything. Now, if you donate and all that, all power to you. If you want to spam their page, awesome. But if you're yeah. just like posting a meme, like, uh, all men are evil because they think, like, nah, dude, it's like, you, just text. Yeah, it's just fucking, it's just fucking text. Yeah, dude, let them figure that shit out. Wait, I did just, they, like, crash that website that they made? Of course they did. That, that whistleblower and site, it. and they fucking. I just think, like, yo, if you're, all you're doing is, is social justicing with memes and shit, like, you're a fucking, you're such a hypocrite. You're not helping. You're just, you're literally just trying to be like, I'm a good person, when deep down you probably have fucked up shit going on, too. Yeah, and everyone like does. Me. Be like so, me, I only care about yourself. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I look out for yourself. You look out for home, yourself. Baby. You don't have to turn on your own mics. Like, yeah. man. No, nah, dude. That shit? I just, dude, <laughs> yeah. dude, like, next week, dude, you don't know, dude, 
Kids are still in cages. All those things that happen. People are still dying of COVID. All that shit just still keeps happening and people just keep moving on. And they're like, I'm still socially aware. It's like, nah, dude, you didn't even fix the, you didn't fix the last 10 yeah, things. Activism is just trendy. That's all None of them it's have been fixed, dude. But you know None what, of them have been, that's no, my point. But you know what's the good thing? I always do this on this podcast. I always ramble and then I get right to my point when I finally but you get know done what? rambling. You know what, though? I'm still in love with you. Aww. The next week, I still I'm be in so love cute. with you. You think so? Uh, yeah, of course. I know so, bro. <laughs> all you guys are cute, man. Fuck. Thanks, man. Yo, oh and, my and you God. know what? And I got me. news for you. That means you're gay. Yeah, that's true. That's true, man. Nah, well, we're moving right, right along. Nah, too. I fun. identify as gay, but I have sex with women. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Yo, because if you I could did. be if you could be a girl and identify as a dude, I'm gay and I ident- I like I have sex with women. Only have yeah. sex with women. I identify as gay. I'm gay shit. You know, I flirt with dudes, but I don't fuck them. You know what I mean? I I remember telling. I like making I, everybody smile. You know, I did that. In especially when, you. <laughs> when C, when C- 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 got gay. <laughs> when I first started CT comedy, it was way more like. Just everyone was down to go to everyone's mic, so mm-hmm. everyone was more like di- not even diverse. Just in comedy was more diverse, and mm-hmm. I'm not saying now it's not. It's just it's it's definitely more raw, which I like. But the fucking we we were at a mic where it was everybody, and some comic was talking about like how all everyone at like every she was tired about people at mics like straight white men just coming to mics and trying to fuck chicks and just that's all they talk about in their act and that's like all we can see right through what you're doing and we need more allied white men so i went to the mic and i this wasn't even about me i was just annoyed with people talking shit so i went on stage and i did my set and i was like just so you guys know i'm a straight white guy but i'm I'm all but i'm gay but I also only fuck bitches. <laughs> like, I hope you guys are cool with that. I'm, I'm gay. I'm super gay. Uh, uh, like, I'm all down for being gay. And I'm, I'm spiritually gay, but I only fuck women. And they have to be hot. And just nobody liked it. Spiritually gay. Yeah, dude. No one was happy with me. Oh, but I, I like it too, man. That's fun. Me too, dude. Like, just the like, shit I think about. If you go to, like, about, a gay like, club I'm, in the 90s, really oh, like all that gay. techno and shit, that's gay as fuck. <laughs> That's like the gay shit I have a Superheroes, said. I guess, are gay, dude. They're in their underwear. Yeah, anyways, dudes, Captain you know? Planet is a big homo. Yeah. No, that's... <laughs> Captain that's Planet for sure. is a big homo. He's the biggest homo. Just the way Superman... Is that Superman. the title of the, the podcast? Captain Planet is a big homo? I, I don't know if I'll put that in oh, okay. the... Captain yeah. Planet's an ally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's the original, like, uh, superhero that... Like, that nigga's a stripper, yo. Yeah. And, yeah, he had a mullet, and he was very uh, mental, yeah, yeah, environmentally yeah, conscious. Yeah, he had red boots. That's you ever, gay so did you ever watch Kid Possible? <laughs> she had the pointiest titties. Me and my brother always <laughs> talked about her pointy ass titties. You've yeah. watched episodes though? No, yeah. Do you ever? Right, so I did. I had girl cousins. I'd seen them, and it's a, like nothing's on. Yeah, yeah pointy titties too. No, I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I wasn't that weird. I, we didn't grow <laughs> up in the south, but like, <laughs> no, dude. Like, you ever um, ever notice in the show, like whenever she had to go somewhere, she'd get like dropped off. By someone in like a dune buggy, mm-hmm. and she'd be like, help. "Yeah, and she'd be like, thanks for the ride." He'd be like, "No problem, Kim. I owe you for that time I almost got raped." <laughs> <laughs> Every time it would, they would always, always have some something. What? No give one, give me one. What? What did you see on uh, Kim Possible? Did you ever see her say some pointy crazy ass shit? titties? That's all I remember. It was a pointy. Ass. I hated so that guy, fucking show. She's getting her dropped get past the point. She dropped off at the boat, and he, she's like, "Thanks for the ride." captain he's like that's all right kim i owe you for that time you showed me your pointy ass titties yeah. nothing all right fuck you guys dude. <laughs> fuck you guys i was objectifying women from a young age i saw a girl at a comic-con who was dressed like uh kim possible pointy Smoke. titties no oh, fuck. perfect smoking hot and yeah she was definitely um that's Whore. the thing too it was weird because another thing that was weird i saw a girl dressed up like link who was smoking hot and i was like mm. this is Odd, but I'm into it. <laughs> it's the weird yeah, that's, that's, that would be a dream, though, like a hot nerd. She could get my sword skyward, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Brought that one back. Because I don't like nerds, but, like, the thing I like about, I don't I don't think I consider myself too much of a nerd, but if she's, like, nerdy into me, like, all right, now I know she's not going to keep bothering me for attention, you know? Who? Like a nerd oh, chick, a nerd chick. Like I'm, nah, no, no, no chick in general. Chicks, I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, if they're into something, like, uh, oh, that's, that's sort of Dragon Ball Z, and they look good or some shit like that. It's like, yeah, that's good because, like, I don't be watching something. You know how you ever watch something? That's when a girl want to like give get all your attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Like you're watching, Sorry. like you're watching TV, and like she's just like want to like talk to you, and you just want to, you know, so yeah. you have your moment by yourself. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. it's like, oh, just 
But if she's a nerd, she's going to be watching something in her own room. I'm going to be watching something in my room. Sure. Or she'll want you to watch her nerdy shit, too. If it's interesting, yeah. Oh, I'm down, if, especially if it's, yeah. I am pre- I, I can meet most chicks Yeah, you, you show me a lot of weirdo shit. I'm uh, like, yo, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Back to old I'll boy. I'll watch it again. Yeah. I, showed, I showed Cliff old boy. What's old boy? Early in the quarantine. All right, so it's a movie about this guy who gets, like, locked in a prison for 10 years, and then he gets, well, like, a room for 10 years from his family and everything. He gets let out, and he goes on revenge to find out who did it, and it's really fucked up. I don't want to give it away. I already did earlier, sort of, in the podcast, so. Okay. But it's, yeah, very it's fucked twist. up ending. It's a good movie. That was good. Said, it was wasn't Korean. it good though, Cliff? It was. It was <laughs> weird. Korean movie. Very what? weird. Is that a Korean. Korean movie? Korean movie. I saw the devil. Is another one. Uh, that's really good. It's got um. It's about a serial killer. Who, who put you onto this weirdo shit? Uh, dude, I just yeah. How long you been a weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> I was I was on Netflix and I was um I actually be, I had to be sober because I was on probation and I always liked foreign movies and I knew they were fucked up and I went down a rabbit hole of Korean movies. I just found all these. Oh, Old Boy though. I could always watch foreign movies, but Old Boy was when my um aunt and uncle gave it to me when I was younger and we're like, you like weird movies, so you'll like this, and I was like. 11 and they gave or 12 and they gave no no i was 13 they gave it to me and i watched it at like two in the morning with my friend and we couldn't like look away because it was so fucking nuts we were like this is insane and it, fu- it i loved it i love that i saw the devil i watched this with a chick once and she said what are, i was like do you want to watch this movie she's like what's it called and i was like i saw the devil she's like all right we'll watch i saw the devil and then you can make me see the devil and i was rock hard <laughs> as you should man as you dude should. she was so hot anyway me too yeah. I was watching it through the window uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you were not dude you didn't know it. you Yo, didn't know remember that Batman remember I gave you that you still want that Batman Beyond um, DVD shit remember oh hell yeah you I don't know if you mic. got that shit already I love that shit movie. did you have it on VHS or something nah it's on DVD I was um it was just episodes right I don't, I don't remember that shit. It's, it's that may be on my rules, you guys. Dude, no, that's, I, I, that's I, I cartoon like of that all time. Can we just get a fucking movie already? For real. Like a good Batman Beyond movie. Well, the, the Batman Beyond movie has never come out. That would be great. Though. This is a, a live action one. It's yeah, not no, bad. that would be awesome. Yeah. I would love the Batman Beyond. I'm, Batman Beyond is my favorite childhood cartoon, hands down. I'll, I, I've rewatched it in adulthood. I love it. I'm rewatching Justice it in a while. while. It's different. I love Static Shock. Static Shock. Static Shock rewatched that in the quarantine. It's holds up. It's great. I rewatched X Men, the uh, the one from animated the 90s. series. Yeah. The, the thing with that I don't like about the old Marvel shows is they don't actually punch people in the face. They just can't, they can't they couldn't at the time apparently. Yeah. But yeah. The DC ones like sack all that they they fuck people up. Yeah. I don't like Wolverine in the cartoon the, You're, from the nineties. Yeah. All he was trying what? to do was fuck the nigga bitch. He living with a nigga. You trying to fuck his bitch? Yes. Just in love, dude, with Jean Grey. Yeah. Nah, that's some sucker shit, man. Dude, Sc- Cyclops sucks. Fuck him. Dude. No, <laughs> no, no. Cyclops is a nigga like he's like uh, I don't know. He's like the, the Chad type of dude. He is. Boat shoes. He's like, hey fella, I, that's my steady girl, and I'll beam your ass if you go near her again. Yeah. He's like, this, uh, he's like the, <laughs> I got a really hard dick when I want it to get hard. And I'm gonna fuck I don't like Wolverine anymore, man. I, I like I like you are the, right. no wow. fucking cuck. Cliff. No, 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 Damn. no, no. Listen to what I'm saying. Listen to That's what I'm saying. That's a hot take. I don't like him. He just. I, I... Yeah, Bob. And I was. In yeah, the he region. ruled. He, dude. No, the writing fucking sucks. The, the watch that shit again. That, I the love him. Is horrible. He rules. Dude. He says the most dumbest. Cu- he says. I mean, I, I like the idea of him, like a lone wolf guy. He never just, been in the trenches, Bob. A lone wolf guy never been in love. You That's me, hundred percent. But like, yo, I'm saying. <laughs> You never just sucked a guy's dick, have you, Bob? <laughs> Sabretooth and I. He, I they overdid his, they over did his character. Guy. They overdid his character. Uh, he he over ruled, dude. He has a great who, who is better than him in the show? I want to know. I like um the nigga um Gambit. That nigga's trying to get hoes. He's trying to get hoes. Yeah, oh, yo, I baby. Like, I love you, yeah, baby. Like, I'm trying to, no, no. I sound Haitian right now. So yeah, he, no, he wasn't Haitian. Haitian. He was yeah, I know, I, down I, in the pot. No, the I'm going to... I'm going to... For true. Well, nah, 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 that's that's fuck. I fuck. I'm I'm bad with yeah, um, he's New Orleans. Cajun, so he's New Orleans. Like, he's from New Orleans. I'm gonna throw cards at it. I can't do it. Yeah, I, fuck. I can't do him. Baby. How did ba- ba- Gambit sound? Hold on, Gambit. We're gonna find this out real quick. Keep talking. Ga- Gambit cool. was my nigga. I, he was trying he to just get had that cage. I like plan. Nightcrawler as always. Um, he was trying to get holes, man. So you didn't like Nightcrawler? 
I love Nightcrawler. Oh, I go see the swamp to get him. That's how they sound. To get him. Say something, faggot. Sorry. Huh. I didn't get her name. But she may have given me a card. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> I throw cards at you because I'm gay. <laughs> I don't know. That's a gay, that's a gay ass, um. I couldn't keep that going for two. That's a gay ass power though. You just throw yeah, cards. Throwing cards. I've been on a shrimp boat all day, and I'm I'm gonna go and fight crime with cards. <laughs> Turn it into fucking Frank Underwood. How many decks does he carry? I don't know. Dick, how many limited? dicks is he sucking? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I'm trying to just make it silly. <laughs> Dude, can't they could make Gambit badass, but they don't. They, they he was cool in the cartoon, but then they brought him into like X Men Wolverine Orange. He sucked. He wasn't caging either. He was like, I'm gay. <laughs> no, I doing that. I can't help it. He was gaging. He was, he was gaging. gaging. <laughs> I'm gaging. You, ice man and I suck each other's dicks. He, my dick gets stuck. My tongue gets stuck to his dick sometimes. But we do it like a, a Christmas store and we pour some hot water on him. I was good. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. That was, that was what good. I needed. That was good. I guess that's the first time you heard that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> More than you. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. We, uh, this is that fun, All I can do is say that I was good at myself twice. And I'm doing, oh, nah, whatever. Nah. No, you called the girls broads and they left, dude. That's a win. I with these fucking... didn't laugh. I was too much in my own head. Like, the whole thing did. All of them. You called them broads and they, like, immediately went to attention. <laughs> I gotta yeah, look at dude. my phone. It's the thing, dude. Some chicks, you, you, they, they act uptight and then you're like, you know what? Fuck off. And they're like, where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Why are you being That is so true. They follow you home to your apartment. And that is so you, true. You're mad at them because they're there and they still don't have sex with you. And then they sleep over and they text you, thank you for being nice and let me sleep over. And you're like, don't respond to them because they slept on the couch. And you didn't do anything. And that's what makes them like you even more. Yeah. Fucking sluts, dude. Damn. I'm not going to do this again. Not yet. Um, what's up, guys? Anything else? What's the last, Annie, what's the last movie you saw recently that you were like, I like this movie? It could be any movie. It doesn't have to be a brand new one. But uh, did you see Suicide Squad? I did see Suicide Squad. That's pretty like that? good. That's pretty good. It's better you than see the it, first Cliff? one. I, I just got an unpopular take waiting for you guys. Oh, so just no. when you get back to me, oh, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Right, wait, so what is the movie you saw, Manny, if anything? If not, Suicide Squad's fine because I loved it. No, Suicide Squad was really good. You uh, should check it out, Cliff. I was trying to watch Shang-Chi, but I just didn't have time. I actually saw that today, and I'm going to review it on Pete and Sully do the same though. Check it out on Spotify. It's yeah. me and Pete Angelo. We just talk about movies. Um, it was, uh, Did you like it? Listen, dude. I liked the first hour, sort of. Actually, half hour. And then once they take this break in between where I literally fell asleep, don't know what happened, and then there's like a war. So it was all right. But it's it's the, the beginning's way better. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, it, it was. A, it, like, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen, and I saw some people say, "We're like, no, nah, it's all right." It was fine. I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk about it more in depth on Pete and Sully do this. It's no Suicide Squad. <laughs> no Suicide Squad. Also, there's an episode of Pete and Sully do the cinema where we review that. It's great. Check it out. Love that movie. I loved it, dude. It's hilarious. The it's Crackhead the Weasel is my favorite fucking Crackhead thing. Weasel, it, them killing a whole village full of fucking people who are innocent is hilarious. It's it's so good. It's exactly what I wanted. And anyway, I don't know. What do you got? I want to hear anything else. Take. Big Lebowski is overrated. Oh my Big God, Lebowski dude. is fucking overrated. No, I hate that movie. Wrong. You know what, oh, dude? Wait, wait, hold on. Kazam a lot of sucks. Are get mad. That movie sucks. sucks. Yeah, why, that movie why, sucks. Why are you still on Kazam? Um, because I want you to feel. I fell how asleep I feel. halfway through the Big Lebowski. You're and a never piece of shit. It. Both of you. You know what? I you guys, <laughs> we're going at least ten episodes without either of you. This episode <laughs> ended horribly. I don't even want to give you guys plugs. How do you not like the Big Lebowski? Because it's just a bunch of crackers talking. Oh. I, <laughs> what? Bro, I That's like no, legendary no, 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 no. Glenn Ross. I would give you that. No, listen, listen. Great actor. I love Steve Buscemi. I love that It's an nigga. entertaining, funny great, movie. Great movie. Everybody did well. Great acting. The writing just sucks cock out dick. No, it I don't doesn't. Know. It's, it's so, so entertaining. Suck. It's so boring. It's a stoner, wild adventure. Mm. It's a, it's a mm. neo-noir movie what are you talking about i feel like they try to be like tarantino with the dialogue no, shit and no, the weirdo shit and no. it didn't pull it off 
Because no. like, it's like that one scene with John Titor, right? He's like, coming in on the game, it's on you. And he's like, he's like in a little purple suit. You see the like. There's a lot of weird shit like that. You see like the purple suit and the close up on his ass. I'm like, okay, now I'm gay now. What what about it? And then like, I'm like, (laughs) what about about it? Big welcome, I'm gay now. I I, I seen Dr. Till's ass in spandex. I'm gay. Whatever. It's 2021. But then after that, I'm like, what was the point of that fucking scene? All right, he's a weirdo fucking bowler. Well, what was the point of him? I don't know, He's, but I like. He did a great job movie, acting dude. that character. I love John Turturro. I love all these actors. I love John dude, Goodman. It's. I think the if you at a base level, that scene is to show you like whatever's going on in this movie is odd, and you have to no, accept it's not. it. I love weirdo movies. Pulp Fiction is you, fucking weird. Did you ever weird. see the, uh, the? You ever see you too many? The Grand. It's the Grand Budapest Motel. You ever seen that? No, no. Very much similar type of. It's much. Wes Anderson clearly took a lot from the far, uh, the uh, Coen brothers. That, I I don't know, man. I, I strongly disagree I love with you guys. Those movies, movies are fucking. I love that movie ass movies. is hilarious. It's it's so the odd. No. Yes, it's, it's odd. Not it's awesome. I didn't laugh. Uh, dude, you could watch that movie anytime. I feel like and get something new almost anytime. The characters are all memorable and zany. It's sad, funny, everything all at the same time. You're wrong. I'm sorry. You're just wrong about this. No, <laughs> it's well directed. It's well acted. It's well directed. The story is fun. Too, I dude. just said all that shit. It's well directed, well acted. I love the cinematography. I love all the, the angles. She said the writing was you caca. Don't like it's caca. It's a, a big. You know what? Coming caca. to America is fucking overrated. It's not even that funny. There's only like two funny parts, and it's basically a dramedy, and that's it. We all have our opinion, but you know what? <laughs> you know what? I didn't get rich off of none of these movies. So fuck them niggas. I was saying, uh, fuck all them niggas. Hey, I don't so care about them. What do you guys have? Pass my backpack. What do you guys have to plug? Go around, Cliff. You go first. You got any the shows Lebowski coming up? Is overrated. Follow me. <laughs> 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 you are a bastard. No, no, you're no, no. I, 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 we, we, all, all in all, we disagree on shit all the time. Yeah, so that's, but that's what makes us friends. I just know? strongly disagree with you, but it, we're, we're still friends. <laughs> uh, ten, ten episodes banned, though, at least. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, uh, you know I'll forget. Shit, I got banned after I'm two. I'm too hot. If I <laughs> uh, what do you got, Cliff? You got any shows, social media? I got media? a show at the, oh, October 1st, right? I'm producing a show with my guy, East. Shout out to East. We got a show so popping in the you, elbow. You're basically the one that's been. I mean, whatever. No, fuck with He's just promoting to a little. No, I, no, I didn't mean it like that. And anyway, continue. I'm being an ass. So. I mean, he's just not with me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's not with me to promote. <laughs> nah, I sounded so gay. I've been gay this whole episode, man. This is the Hell gayest. Yeah. I'm being for five episodes of being gay. Bleep <laughs> <laughs> that out. Bleep that out. I please. might make All that right, the I'm, name I'm, of the episode. I'm being for being gay. I'm bad for five episodes for being gay. gay. All right. Fuck it. <laughs> Nah, uh, me and Isha producing a show, Fall for Funny Comedy Show. We got um my guy, my motherfucking guy, Pete Angelo, mm-hmm. headlining that He's show. He's on Pete Angelo. We got my guy, Mike Macero, <laughs> Mike Macero hosting. It's going to be a wavy, that, wavy ass show, man. October 1st, Elbow Room, West Hartford, Connecticut. And there's going to be a party after, so come at hang out, At the party at guys. my place, I finally oh, yeah. moved out the crib at 30 years old. If you guys like the podcast, come hang out. Give me criticism. We'll smoke mad weed. We'll have fun. Yeah, we'll do drugs, We're man. definitely going to get food that night or something to order. Yeah. We have to. Hell yeah. I'm already playing. <laughs> uh, you got anything, Manny? You got social uh, Oh, Cliff, social media. All right. I don't like the Big Lebowski at Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I'll just be a busted boss. Nah, follow me on Instagram at Cliff Mula. C L I F F M U L A. Manny, what you got? Shit. Uh, I'm at uh, Trinity Bar this month, the 24th. Trinity Bar, Trinity Beer Garden. Beer, uh, place in New Haven. Oh, it's oh, New that's, yeah, not, that's okay. in the room in uh, okay. yeah, right there. Yeah, um, I'm going to get to that. Oh, me and Ray Robinson are starting to run shows. We got our first Where's show it? on the 18th of, of September. Oh. oh, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris Sears headlining. Yep, I got Mike Mazzaro on it. Um, I was supposed to be on it. You were supposed to be on it, but... I wish I was on it. Do you want to come be on it? No. It's, it's not. It's too late now. <laughs> nah, I, I got to show at the elbow room on, on the 18th. Gonna, I wasn't going to put you on it. <laughs> yeah, you like it. <laughs> no. I wasn't even in the first draft. I feel... <laughs> I feel wow. You got, oh, what else, man? You got anything? Um, yeah, uh, I'm on... Shit, so... It's wild. It's getting booked again for the first time. I'm trying to keep up with everything. Oh, end. take your time, man. Uh, oh, I'm at the Elbow Room for the first time on the 25th of September. Hell yeah. Um, I, Andre Kim's headlining. Mm. Um, Shout out Andre, Andre Kim. Shorter. Shout out to Andre. 
is on the show, is producing the show. My guy, Mo Moose is on it. Hell yeah. So, like, solid lineup. Yeah. It's going to be good. I'm going to be, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to bomb. So, no. Come not. hang. Anything else? <laughs> What's your social media? You oh, got a follow podcast? Me at, oh, yeah. I have a podcast, Midday with Manny. This nigga got a calendar. Yeah, dude, you are a fucking professional. You got an actual calendar. Yeah. I've just been using my phone. I'm terrible at it. Uh, Midday with Manny podcast. Uh, everywhere, Spotify, iTunes, all that. Social so, media. Yeah, social media. Uh, Midday Manny on everything. Snapchat, all that shit. Anything else, man? Nah, that's about it. All right, you guys. Um, I, this is... Oh, yeah, this is definitely out. Um, guys, 918, uh, September 18th, Parkville Market. Fucking awesome show. Robbie the Fireburn seems headlining. Claire Alexander's on the show. We got my man, Mustafa Musa, fucking hosting. And I'm also on the show. So come see me live. Yeah. Then last show had, it was so much fucking fun. It's an awesome venue. So many people came out. Please come. Uh, the following week, 925, September 25th, I'm at Trinity Beer Gardens in Rhode Island. So if anyone out here is listening from Rhode Island, come see me then. DM me if you have any things. I'll get to that. Um, maybe October 1st. Actually, I'll probably be coming in at Cliff show. But it looks like I'm in the Rhino Comedy Competition. But I don't know if I'm going because it's out of the way, and I'd rather go to that party then. So I might pull out of that. Nigga, you better go to that shit. Nah, work on I can the craft, just go to man. another one. I used to go to another I, I, I'd rather work on some ass that night. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Cliff, for not laughing at that. Um, anyway. Because, bro, like... You uh, know, shut you up! To, you, you cheating on me Figure in front of me. You know, know what? I'll just get a guest spot on your show. It's confirmed. Anyway. No. Uh, what? Castle no, Comedy. No, 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 no. Castle Comedy. I'll I'm also be... to have people come back. Uh, now. <laughs> I will be getting a guest spot at Castle Comedy. What if I was uh, there? Nine tw- uh, 1023 in Rhode Island. And I'm not going to help Cliff get a spot out there at all because just. It's so petty. No, <laughs> uh, no, come to Cliff's show. Come to all these guys' show, guys. They support them. They're funny. Also, um, follow me at Silly Selly on Instagram. Follow the uh, podcast Instagram at Yes Offense Podcast on there. And uh, guys, check out me and Pete Angel is on uh, shows, uh, Cliff's show. Me and Pete Angelo, I've mentioned a million times on the podcast, do a podcast called Pete and Sally Do the Cinema, where we review a movie every week and talk about movie news. And we're going to have guests on, so I'm sure you guys will be on. Hell so. yeah. Um, anything else, guys? We're Cliff good? wants to be on the Big Lebowski episode. Anything? Uh, Big Lebowski's overrated, man. And that's the, the gays haven't been on this episode. You should be. And I got news for you. That means you're gay.